All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, Casey and I are talking about the LX570. This is his overlanding rig. And uh, one company in particular, LFD Off-Road, yeah. produces a lot of cool products that mm -hmm. uh, you've been installing on the car. Yep. Let's, uh, where do you want to start? Let's look down here real quick. So you can see I've got this winch, open road winch, on a hidden winch plate by LFD. And then underneath, I've got a skid plate. And, you know, it's a standard skid plate. It hasn't been off-road yet. You can see um, if you're an LX570 owner or a Land Cruiser owner or a Tundra owner, uh, accessing the filter housing down there is a pain. And so there are access panels for that. Uh, and then another one for accessing the drain plug. And to be honest, that was the main reason I wanted a skid plate. Um, <clears throat> so I wouldn't have to take off the whole factory system every time I wanted to do an oil change. But... Then I took it off-road out at Mare's Adventure Park and actually started to hit some kind of blue trails and stuff and quickly discovered that, you know what, I need a skid plate. I got a little too close to comfort on some of those rocks, so I wanted to get it ready. And uh, I like what they're doing at LFD. And so <clears throat> I ordered that from them, uh, the winch plate. What's attracted me to them is that I see a lot of stuff that they've made specifically for the LX570. Uh, if you've got one, you know that... A lot of times you're adapting stuff that was really designed for the Land Cruiser. Uh, so it was just good to see someone actually working with one of these. A pretty cool company. Let's come up here and look at what's going on on the roof. Hey guys, once again, just a real quick reminder, please like and subscribe to the video down below. Uh, help us keep growing. Really appreciate it. Very nice. Yeah, so a little bit about them. They have been around a while as like a, I think, uh, manufacturing heavy machinery. They're out of North Carolina. And if you go to their website, it's pretty clear what happened was it's a bunch of dudes with manufacturing experience that also like their Toyota, Lexus, off-roaders. And we're like, you know what? Let's start a division where we build stuff for our cars. They build it for their rigs, test it out. And if they like it and it's good, it goes to market. And so this is the factory roof rails. Yep. But from the factory, we don't get a lot of strength for uh, really mounting up a lot of overlanding gear. No. And that's where these guys have stepped in and created something really cool. Yeah, so the factory ones are also curved, so um, <clears throat> it really inhibits a lot of your mounting options. So they've got this. This is they call the heavy-duty crossbar kit, I guess, or, or package uh, that fits the factory side rails of your LX570 or Land Cruiser. I've actually got side rails from a Land Cruiser, which are longer to give me more space to put things. Uh, and what attracted me to these is a couple of things. Number one, they sell a full rack replacement with the full side rails and everything and like nine bars across the, the, the top to give you a big, huge flat surface to mount stuff. And if you buy this, just the crossbars, and decide you want the full rack replacement later these are compatible with that and they'll sell you just an upgrade kit that just comes with the side rails and a few more bars so you can do things incrementally right so this is about 540 bucks for for the crossbar set uh they're 304 stainless steel then powder coated right so that's very nice yes, and really important really important um so they're gonna last a long time but, you know, the big thing is the hardware. So the second reason I went with these guys um, is, if you notice, this is just a standard steel bar with these yes. square channels in it, right? Uh, and if you look at their website, it states that they have a mounting solution here that is, like, specifically geared towards a Max Trax. Um, I don't really know what that means. I think they're talking about these notches here. These are generic, I think, like, x bulb fake max tracks off of Amazon that I've mounted with their hardware. Um, <clears throat> but I like this channel design. A lot of people go with the kind of extruded aluminum bars and those are great. You can get a lot of cool custom hardware. There's a lot of stuff made to like mount specifically to those. But what I liked about these is that you can work with any standard 3 8 carriage bolt, fits in this square slot and gives you a lot of options using hardware that you can find at any hardware store across the country. Something breaks while you're out on the trail, you're going to be able to fix it anywhere or come up with some kind of solution that does work with your rack. 
um, and not have to fiddle so much with lots of little tiny proprietary T-channel stuff. Um, so that's what the two main things that, that attracted me to it. And like I said, you know, these guys are making stuff just for the LX platform, the Land Cruiser 200 platform. Uh, they got a lot of Forerunner stuff, a lot of GX stuff. And, and to my point earlier, there's just guys making stuff for their rigs that they like. And um, I think somebody on their staff just bought a Ford Ranger because they're starting to do teaser picks of stuff for Ford Rangers. So check out LFD, really cool company. They've been great to work with and um, really solid stuff. All right, tell everybody why you picked the Overland Pros awning for your tow vehicle when, frankly, you've got a bunch of awnings on your trailer. I do have a bunch of awnings on the trailer, but I wanted some flexibility. I wanted the ability to take this out camping, just the car on short trips and whatnot if I wanted to. So I'm starting to get like a real basic Overland setup going. Found this Overland Pros locally for a good price. Um, you know, Overland Pros, newish company. Uh, been around for a couple of years. They're out of California and I really like what they're doing. They've got tents and a lot of other stuff. And so I wanted to check it out. And look at that good looking Jeep back there. God, your Jeep. Overland Pros does offer one more like this. They call it, this is the 4K 270. They have the 6K 270, which has this extra portion that would come all the way out to the front of your vehicle. But you know, nice heavy duty straps here to cinch it up with. You've got these quick deploying feet that come down that are, you know. Telescoping. Telescoping, right? Added support if you need it, you know. Uh, you can see there are places to Velcro in walls. Now they only Velcro, they don't zip. Ah, it's interesting. Yeah. Um, Again, the, though, that really makes it very quick to deploy. Yes. I do remember when this came out, one of the nice things, you know, for the money, they do a really good job with their hinge system. Yeah. Very heavy duty, uh, smartly designed because it has this kind of extra double hinge portion back here. Um, and then, so if you notice this little track, I don't know if the OVS does this, but oh, yeah. you can get a little like accessory panel that slides in here and you can you know it has drawers or not drawers but like little pockets and stuff to store things maybe when you're cooking yep something like that yeah and all of the walls um i'm trying to look for it you if you notice there's like this velcro on the outside of all these things i did notice and that i believe is so you can actually do walls like along this right so you could just you could segment do one here off your and segment it off, and so you could have like a little privacy thing to change just on one little part of the awning. That's really uh, nice. Yeah, it's really nice. You know what? How about a bonus review? We've got to talk about these chairs because these chairs get asked about every time you everywhere pop them we out. go. Whether it's at an overlanding in it, event, uh, a soccer game, people go, "Hey, where did you get those chairs? These are phenomenal." Uh, you can find these multiple places. You can find them at a Dick's, at an Academy, online. Yeah, um, probably Amazon too. Yeah, but, absolutely. Yeah. They sit low. They're really nice around the campfire. Mm -hmm. Look at how compact they fold up. This is what they look like all packed up. They've got a nice little mm -hmm. hand uh, grip here. Let me show you how easy these things are to set up. Okay. That's it. Done. That's all it takes. You're done. Yep. And just about as fast to pack up. We'll, well that just about does it for awnings. Casey's all packed up, but I'm going to sit here underneath my awning in my comfy chair for a little longer. Please like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Growing like a weed. And uh, you guys are helping us out. So next time.